Hey, today I want to tell you about a recent uh, experience I had um, while on vacation in Hawaii. We uh, went there on spring break with my family and we signed up to do this bike tour where we go up to the top of a volcano, about 7,000 uh, vertical feet uh, up in the air and watch the sunrise. And then uh, we get on bikes and we're with a guide and he leads us down sort of the mountain, I guess, the volcano mountain. And uh, uh, from the top down down to the bottom and so when we were there we had a great experience had a great guy guide uh, told us lots of lots of awesome stories and in one story he told uh, in particular really resonated with me we were in the van driving up uh, to the top uh, early in the morning and he talked about how he got his job there he had moved there from Seattle about uh, five years before he'd had a business in Seattle and and uh, sold it, uh, you know, severed all ties, sold everything and moved to Hawaii because that's what he wanted to do. And uh, he wanted just to find a job and, and start living, man. That's what he wanted to do. This guy was awesome. And he talked about applying uh, for a job as this bike guide. And when he went in to apply uh, for the job, he was told that they're not hiring right now. So come back, keep, you know, stay in touch, check in later. Uh, and maybe down the road there'll be some openings. And so he said, okay. And he, he walked out and he said he, he got out there and he got down the road a little bit and he thought, man, you know, what am I doing? I don't take no for answers. And so he went back in there and he, and he, and he talked to them and he said, look, eventually you're going to have to hire somebody, right? Someone's going to quit. Something's going to happen. You're going to grow. You're going to need somebody. He said, why don't I work for free right now? Why don't you train me? Teach me how to be a bike guy. Teach me everything I need to know. And if somebody calls in sick or you're shorthanded, just call me. I'll already be trained and I'll work for free. And then when it comes time that you need to hire somebody, I'll be here ready to go uh, and to do it. And he said, he said all that and the owner hired him on the spot, right? Which doesn't surprise me. Like you can't teach that kind of attitude. You can't teach uh, that kind of commitment, work ethic, you know, go get it uh, type of attitude in somebody, which is awesome. And I thought, uh, what a cool story. And I was glad my kids could hear that. And, and what a way to differentiate yourself from any other job applicant. You know, be willing to work for free. And it reminded me, I was just in a recent, uh, was talking in a recent uh, Service Express Way training where we talk about our culture and our values. And I share a quote from Napoleon Hill, and I have it right here. It's, the man who does more than he is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. And I think that's so true. And I think that, you know, we find that, at Service Express with all of our promotions is that we're promoting people who are already doing the job, who are already doing more than is expected for them without getting paid for it. That's just, that's just how they perform, it's just what they do. And so when the time comes for promotion or advancement, we know right who to look at because they're already doing more than, they were, than they're sort of expected to do in the first place. And around here, that's an A player. And I think that is, that is a great example of how to get ahead in life and too many people want to uh, have things given to them you know we also talk around here is that you can't pay the wrong people to do the right things and you know we have a story of people you know wanting a raise before they've really proven themselves and I made the mistake early in my career of doing that with somebody gave them a raise hoping that would motivate him, thinking well if you made more money that would motivate you and being completely wrong didn't motivate them at all and they didn't do anything more uh, to earn that raise and now it's the more you do, the more we'll recognize that and we'll value that and then the reward comes. And we do reward people and, and we like to pay people here. Um, but you gotta prove it and you gotta do it and be able to go above and beyond. And I think, you know, so many people want things, I've talked about this, uh, you know, recently on here, is they want things right now and they're not patient, they're not willing to do things. And I think patience and persistent action, willing to go above and beyond, add value to others, that's the kind of qualities, those are the kind of characteristics that we should be re rewarding as leaders. And that's how you develop people. And if you want to get ahead in life, uh, from my experience, that's how you do it.